Hi guys, so you all requested some information about prepositions in April, so that is what we're going to do. Oops, we're going to start the day by looking at some prepositions of time. So let's start with some easier prepositions of time. So these ones I'm sure most of you know. So in, on and at. Uh, generally speaking, we use in for months and years. We use on for days and times, and at for clock times and special times. And I'll explain special times in just a minute. So here's an example for in. My birthday's in December. I was born in 1974. So in for a month and in for a year. Here's some examples with on. I'm going to London on Friday and I'm meeting a friend on the 5th of April. So on for a day and on for dates. And just so you know also we use on for special days like Christmas Day or New Year's Day um, but only to talk about the actual day itself. So any kind of day basically you want to use on. And then at, so at with a clock time. The train arrives at nine o'clock and at for a special time like lunchtime. We'll talk about it at lunchtime. So these special times really are things like lunchtime or tea time, which is very British and obviously very important to us. Uh, nighttime and things also like dawn, which is when the sun rises. Okay, moving on to some more advanced prepositions of time. So I have quite a few high level students who really get confused between for and during. So I thought we would talk about those today and I've also added this little phrase here as of. So for talks about a given length of time. Now, you guys probably know this word given, as in verb three of give. Uh, so something like she has given me the coffee or something like this. But we can also use it to mean something very specific. And if I'm talking about a given length of time, that basically means a, a, a time with a very clear start and finish. And you'll see more about that in a minute. We use during to talk about an event happening in a period of time. So this is quite different. And this little phrase as of talks about an unknown duration that starts from a specific time. So let's look at some examples. Now, I used to live in China and when I came home and went back to China, I always used to fly through Dubai Airport. And the flight from London to Dubai usually lasts for seven hours. So this is me leaving London at 12 o'clock. And this is me arriving in Dubai at uh, seven o'clock, 1900 hours. So this is the given length of time. It has a clear start and a clear end. Now, long flights are not very exciting things unless you can afford to fly first class. Uh, I don't fly first class. So during the flight, you can pass the time by watching films and you can have something to eat. So these two things, watching films and having something to eat, are the events happening in the period of time. And then this last one here, as of April the 1st. So this is our specific starting time. So as of April the 1st, Sarah's Facebook group will be looking at prepositions and idioms about animals. Now, 
you guys maybe will love learning about prepositions and animals so much that we'll just continue doing this perhaps for a month, perhaps for two, perhaps all year, we don't know. So this is the start of an unknown duration. Okay, and here's a little timeline for you. So we begin on April the 1st and we, we just don't know at the moment when we're going to stop. So this is okay, right? It's simple. Ah, it's not so simple because for and during have got two meanings. For can also talk about holidays and seasons. And by holidays, generally I'm meaning things like Christmas holidays or um, maybe the summer holiday, something like that. During can talk about a period of time. So that's a little bit strange, right? Because I just told you that for is for a period of time. So let's look at this example here, holidays and seasons. I usually go to my mum's for Christmas. Uh, I could have at Christmas, but this is okay too, all right? And here's an example of a period of time. It rained all the time during our holiday. Now, the difference between this time and ooh, the time here is that we, we've got a very clear starting and ending. Whereas on this example here, this is quite unspecific. I could have been on holiday for a week or a month or two months and we don't really know and it kind of doesn't matter 